So for today we're going to be looking at the Untethered Edge set for the hundreds of you guys on. We've already reviewed the armor and done the shader radio. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. Pretty cool armor sets, if I'm being honest. The only thing that really sucks is a lot of the pieces for the Warlocks are just very missed opportunities. I think the Hunters and Titans got some pretty cool pieces. That being said, there are some pieces that are pretty bad. But that goes without saying, it's Just that's just the nature of this game. Some pieces are good, some pieces are bad. Fortunately, Hunters and Titans, we got some cool pieces. Warlocks, you guys got some pretty rough pieces. And I talk about this further in that video and I even give examples of what Warlocks should have gotten. Uh, for the shader video, it's literally just me showing you all my favorite shaders. And I do this because if I do all of my shaders, it's e literally probably gonna be like a 30 minute video because it takes like 10 minutes each because I have a lot of shaders. So that's why I do it that and I've I've actually fallen to see recording that video. So it's, it's more for me, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this armor set in the comments below because I definitely want to talk about it. Hunters, I definitely think some there's some bangers here. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification because that does help a lot because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell. Really does help and just helps the channel immensely. You guys have no idea. So I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet. And for this one, it is a variation of the digital variance uh, piece that I made a while ago uh, for the Star Eater scales. And this one, we're just going to be switching out a few pieces, specifically the helmet, cloak and the arms. The chest piece and the boots are the only thing that I'm retaining and the shader as well. Um, helmet, obviously, it's going to be the untethered edge for the arms phenotype plasticity grips for the chest piece eternal vengeance vest and then for the cloak forbidden vis visage cloak uh for the chest and boots specifically i really like this combo because you guys will see that the chest has these lines on the stomach that go with the lines on the boots i think that's so so cool and for the shader and mercury vex chroma is what we're using so obviously i'm going for a vex theme for this one that being said you could definitely pick a better uh cloak for this one i just like the fact that the cloak has a lot of armor in the neck and then that whole like head gear thing looks really cool that being said not definitely not vex themed but i just like it anyways um you can do definitely do like the phenotype plasticity cloak um that's it because i don't really like the one from vog uh, you can definitely use some like electronical pieces as well that being said, you could also just use the Eternal Vengeance uh, cloak as well. That would be pretty cool, especially with the helmet. I think that would be super dope. But I just like the Forbidden Visage a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the arms. And this one is definitely an L. I am not the biggest fan of the arms. And you can tell by what I'm wearing because nothing makes sense. Um, yeah, I just I think these arms are terrible. This is why I just copped out and did something like this. That being said, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not like my favorite uh, Assassin's Cow look because that's the exotic we're using. So for the chest piece, hardened basilisk vest with the dynamo current strides, I think that combo is really cool. And then Legatus cloak because when you see the Legatus cloak with the dynamo strides it just looks really really cool because it has the same like lines which i think is really cool shadering metro shift yeah honestly this is a pretty terrible set aside from the legatus cloak and dynamo current strides combo i like that combo a lot but it's just like what are the even these arms dog like the little the little like triangle things on the shoulder pad is just laughable to me um honestly they shouldn't even have put that I just think it looks terrible. I think the arms are genuinely the worst piece from this whole set from for any from everyone. Like I think the art hunter arms are just that bad. So let's just quickly ignore this one. So the next set, I actually don't mind that much. I think it looks pretty cool. That being said, this chest piece is pretty terrible. And for this one, it's going to be going for a theme and for those of you who are savvy you guys will know what kind of theme i'm going for but i will explain it after we look at the pieces so for the helmet we're going to be using blight ranger i love this one aesthetically uh the actual perk is fucking trash i really hope they rework this exotic because uh no one's using it because it's trash uh empyrean cartographer grips for the chest piece obviously we're using the untethered edge for the boots, Celestial Strides, and then for the cloak, Mystio's Cloak. So for those of you who commented already what the 
spiel of this was it's basically um one side's heavy one side's not because the chest piece you guys will notice that there's uh, an armor piece on the left side and i was like honestly i don't even know what to do with this chest piece it's pretty terrible without the cloak because the cloak gives it much more of a uh, much more volume for the armor so without the cloak it looks pretty terrible very boring as well so in my head i was just like you know what let me just combine pieces that give the left side a lot more armor so that way the right side can look a little bit more empty just because that's kind of like the spiel of this chest piece the left side's a lot more heavy than the right side so that's why we're using the imperial cartographer grips and the celestial strides uh specifically because the left side has more armor the right side does not that's literally it shadering golden trace just because uh a I really needed a shader that has gold because the armor pieces on the left side for the arms do not change or yeah, they don't change color. So I just wanted to make it simple for myself. And that is really all oh, the other problem was that Celestial Strides has like uh, stars in the pants and I wanted to turn that off. So Golden Trace, basically I'm killing two birds with one stone, turning off the glow for the Celestial Strides and having a gold for Imperium Cartographer. So that is pretty much it. I definitely think the like the females look way better than the males. Males look kind of weird. Females definitely look way better with this. They definitely look a lot more like sleek, which is why I like that a lot. And males, yeah, I probably I don't know what it, it's probably it's just too like too bulky, which is like you see more of it. That's probably the problem with it. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And then last but not least, we are using the best piece, which is the untethered edge cap, which I absolutely fucking love this cloak. This cloak is really, really cool. That being said, I really can't say it's a 10 out of 10 because unfortunately that neck guard thing just goes really terrible with everything that you put on it. Um, I really wish that honestly, I know this is going to sound very weeby of me, but I really wish instead of the armor pieces that we got for the neck guard, I honestly, just, we should have just gotten a, a, like a, what's it called? Um, oh, it's going to bug me. It's going to bug me. What's it called? What's it called? A scarf. We should have gotten just like a scarf that goes like around our neck and then goes down from to make our cloak. I think that would have been way better because the armor piece just, it goes, it's, it looks terrible when you don't combine it with pieces that kind of look like that. And this one's a good example. I like this set. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it goes, it, it feels off, um, for the boots. All we're also wearing the untethered edge boots. So for the helmet, we have the Hafna good, uh, ornament for celestial nighthawk, which the reason I chose this one was because obviously the helmet is going or not the helmet, the cloak is going for a Japanese look or Eastern Asian look at Asian in, in general. And in my head, when I think of Asia, Asia, like inspired stuff, I also think of like a crane more specifically Chinese. Either way, that the helmet is kind of what it reminds me of, like a crane looking helmet. For the arms, iron simic grips with the iron pledge ornament. I think these two are really, really good together. And yeah, I don't think this is a terrible set. I definitely love it. That being said, I would definitely switch out the boots for the iron simic boots. I think those would have been way better because uh, it would have given off that Japanese feel a lot more. This, this does give Japanese feels. It's just the fact that the boots the armor just does not fit <clears throat> you cut because it's actual plate armor and yeah japanese did not have plate armor so i know this is going for a vex themed slash japanese look but i, I would really want to just pinpoint that japanese look so iron simic grips would have been better right here there are other pieces you could have used for this honestly the cloak just has so many potential possibilities uh because the six coyote would have been a good choice as well I chose this instead because the six coyote look while I do love it. It's not the set that I'm using with this cloak. The, the set that I'm using is actually this one right here. This is the one I've been using in raids and my general play because it's just cool and celestial right now is hot. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, for the shadering unsated curiosity what we're using because it's new and it's a dope shader. I really, really like this shader and it has a red glow, which I think is pretty cool because the, the eyes is the only thing that's glowing right here. So overall, I think these pieces are really, really cool aside from the second one because the second one is trash because it's using the arms. But first set I think is a banger. Third set I think is cool. And then the fourth I think is an absolute banger. That being said, I have way more pieces or sets I should say that I've been using with the cloak. The cloak is just legitimately my favorite piece and then the boots and then the helmet is also really, really cool. I think it, honestly, it's just the arms that I'm not a big for and the chest piece. Those two are just pretty terrible, but 
yeah, check out the review video if you want to hear my thoughts about all of the armor because I go in depth and I go deep into it because, again, I have a lot of thoughts about this armor. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. And, yeah, just hunters. Did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below. Expect more content from me because I am currently working on the untethered set for all of the classes. We're going to be going for the playlist armor. For the playlist armor specifically, I probably will not get everyone's armor. Like, for every playlist. Just because a lot of that armor is just... It's unfortunately just uh, reskins of each other. So I really don't need to do that. That being said, I will probably pick up, uh, like each playlist armor for one class so for for example the titans are going to be getting the vanguard set hunters will most likely get the pvp set and then uh warlocks are going to be getting the gambit set so that way you guys are aware of how everything looks i will also be going through it in game so that way you guys can see the different variations because again i don't see the point in getting all of the armor to review all of the armor when it's all reskins so i might as well show you some of it and then show you mo all of it in collections because that also just saves me a lot of time of just getting all that armor because if you guys don't know playlist armor is really annoying to get so we're going to be doing that armor set we're going to be doing the new exotics as well i still haven't done it i will probably do the voiceover right now as i'm recording this because i do have that done and i really want to talk about it because some of the exotics in the game are really or the new exotics are really really cool and some are really really trash and i'm excited to talk about that so I still have a lot of content to go through and even then once we're done with all of the fashion i will probably be going through the weapons that we got this season and some other things as well and i always have fashion ideas going through in my head so fashion will always be coming out for me but once i actually start picking up and catching up with all of the back stock that i have i will most likely be getting started on my second channel again because i really really want to play other games specifically like I still haven't technically beat Elden, not even technically, I haven't beat Elden Ring, I haven't beat in like a lot of games that are in my back stock, so I want to get back into that so that way I can just play games because I still haven't even beat uh, Armored Core 6, even though I'm super close, so I think I'm going to start with that one, and then we'll get into Elden Ring, I'll we'll most likely make a new playthrough for that because I don't remember where I was and my builds are super old, they're like old old, so I'm probably just going to restart a new save and then record that whole thing and yeah just have a bunch of content planned so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later